This has got to be the cutest filter ever. I'm just saying. Hello everyone. Welcome in, welcome into this Insta Live session. Um, I am going to leave this up here on Instagram, but I'm also going to put this up on YouTube as well because um, somebody, I think it was Mama Piplup that informed me of that, or maybe it was, was it Ivy? I don't remember. Somebody told me how to do it um, after they, you know, put everything in the archives and everything from before you could just save it right after the, the live stream, but now it goes to the archives and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I know how to do that now. So I'm going to make sure that I share this on YouTube for all of our family and friends over there. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then this, no, this is not live. But if you're watching this on Instagram, then you may have, hello human. Oh my God, Tamika, how are you? It is so good to see you. Hello, Liz. Um, but if you're watching this on, on Instagram, then chances are maybe, maybe you caught it live, but that's okay. If you're, if you're watching this anyway, then it's still available. So there you go. So I was feeling guided and inspired to come speak to the fam get a little bit of a reading for the fam. Welcome in, it is good to see you guys. If you're over on YouTube, make sure to smash that like button for me, yeah? But y'all, I am living for this filter right now. This is like, like y'all, this is doing me such justice right now. I mean, I cannot, you, be, you better stop. Mm. Yeah, it's been pretty nuts for me too. Oh, thank you, oh my God. Oh my God, thank you so much, beauties and brunch. How are you, my darling? It's so good to see you. Yeah, uh, Divine Realness, I've been, well, I haven't been MIA per se. I haven't been around as, as much as I normally am, but um, things have also been pretty crazy, pretty nuts for me as well. I'm glad to see that you're okay as well. I did think about you a few days ago. I don't remember why, but you popped into my head and I was like, I hope Tamika's okay. So I'm glad to see you. All right, y'all. Let's get into this reading. Let's see, what, what message do we want to bring forward for the collective? Something about, okay, well, something about love, I guess. See, okay, so <laughs> as I said that, the song, um, Something About Love by C&C &C and the, uh, well, Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam, actually. Something about love, city, you're the one I'm always thinking of. Something about love, city, you're the one I'm always thinking of. Do you guys remember that song? Something about love. Ah, I love that song. Okay, let's go with that vibe. Something about love. What's this something about love? You're the one I'm always thinking of. Why? What, who is this? What is the message here? What is this energy, this person trying to say? This could very well be you. This could very well be you. Um, but in that case, I feel like it would be a different reading if I was looking at, looking at it from your perspective, as in you're the one that's thinking of someone. We can get an, an answer as to why. That's a good idea. Um, I, could always I could also channel another person's energy, but let's start with, let's start with the individual that is thinking of someone as in the viewer. The cross watcher would be next, okay? So as if you are the viewer here and you're thinking of someone, I'm gonna give this two more shuffles. What do you need to know about that? Someone's on your mind, someone's playing hoops in your head is what I kinda wanna say. Running circles in your head, it's playing around in your head, can't stop thinking about them. You're all that you see, that they are all that you seem to see or think about. What's going on? What, is, what do they need to know? What does this individual need to know about this? The chariot is reversed. What's love got to do? Got to do this. Listen, I recently saw that um, Mattel, I believe, is the one that makes Barbie, right? Makes Barbies. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Tina Turner Barbie in the works, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Anyway. For the, if it, for, for the individual that is thinking, to some, thinking of someone, if you are the cross watcher here, the, or not the cross watcher, if, ooh. Okay, this is getting all confusing. I'm trying to, uh, let, me just, let me just pull forward the message in terms of if you're thinking of someone. The chariot, the, the first card you have here is the chariot reversed. 
to me, there's a blockage here. Um, and really what I want to say is that your block, your path forward, your ability to move forward with this is blocked. What I'm getting with this energy, with the chariot reversed, is that um, somebody wants to move forward towards someone. But I get this feeling that they're not quite ready to do so yet. There may be an actual blockage between you and this person in terms of the fact that maybe you're not on the best terms with each other. There are some sort of physical ob obstacles in your way. Obstacles between the two of you. But there's also a feeling here of getting ready, gearing up, getting your act together, getting yourself situated, getting in alignment with your soul's mission that would bring you towards this person. So this very well, you guys, this very well could be some sort of twin flame situation. Okay? It could be. Or at least some sort of divine partnership situation. You don't necessarily have to resonate with the twin flame energy for this to resonate with you. Um, but it feels like there is something about getting your act together in order to be with this person or in order to pursue this relationship with each other. What's going on with this situation here? You have the four of swords next. Yeah, this person is really thinking. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. And then the overall energy here is the nine of swords. All right. But this person or you are really thinking about this, really working on getting their act together or you're getting on working, getting working. Wow. You're working on getting your act together. OK, you have the chariot in reverse with the four of swords and temperance. And what I want to say about this, you guys, is the timing just is not right yet. I wish I knew more of the lyrics of that song because now I wonder how much of that song actually applies to this situation. So if that song, it's Lisa Lisa and, and the Colt Jam, I believe it is, Something About Love. Um, and uh, if you, even if you don't know that song, if that's kind of like intriguing you somehow or kind of tugging on you a little bit and you feel like you want to investigate into that, then look into it, okay? I wish I knew more of the lyrics because I feel like maybe some of the, the lyrics may apply. Um, I do feel like, honestly, what I feel like is going on here, guys, in terms of someone that, ha that you have on your mind or, or maybe someone that has you on their mind, the timing isn't right yet. Their, their path towards you or your path towards them is, in fact, blocked. And there may be a level of denial with this. There may absolutely be a level of denial here. Now, I don't say that to try and, and to try and enable any any sort of runner chaser dynamic. I'm not saying that to say you should push this person or you should push yourself. Um, but but the chariot in reverse, kind of with the four of swords here, would is kind of giving me some energies of denial. Maybe denial of the truth. Maybe denial of who you truly are. Maybe denial of the circumstances. There could also be a denial of the reality of as to why this situation is blocked. Because the chariot, the chariot can be a pretty selfish, self-centered, and or egotistical energy, especially when it's reversed. The chariot reversed could represent a, a situation in which someone is just barreling forward without any sort of understanding, without any, maybe, maybe, maybe without having done any research. Hi, Keely. Oh, hi, Lorianne. Oh, goodness. How are you, babe? Um, the, 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 the chariot in reverse could be a, a, a strong version of or a strong um, representation of um, riding roughshod over people or maybe in this situation, maybe disregarding the facts, um, the, the, the requirements. But also, I kind of get an energy of someone, this person or you may actually fully understand why it is their way forward is blocked and may be at peace with that, or may be in the process of finding peace with that, or may actually have found peace with that. But ultimately, the dominant thing that I'm feeling here is that with Temperance as the, the last card in the, in the reading here, there is some sort of universal process towards getting into that alignment. Now, the overall energy here is the Nine of Swords. Underneath the Nine of Swords is the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There is a desire here. Uh, the, the, the most anxiety that, anxiety that I am feeling in this situation, you guys, is that this person or you is desiring maybe to reconcile with the Page of Cups or maybe send some sort of emotional offer to someone. And then coupled with the Ten of Pen I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles, 
there also not only is there a desire to make some sort of emotional offer and apologize i do feel like the page of cups while it can represent an emotional offer i also feel like the page of cups dominantly feels like a desire to reconcile to say i'm sorry and to offer some sort of pentacle to offer maybe a form of commitment to offer a way of starting over Okay, there is also a desire to put the past behind and to end some sort of difficult situation between you and this person. Okay, and to have some sort of creative new start because there is history behind you. And then also, look at that, there is a history here. Okay, you're either soulmates, twin flames, or you there is a past, this is a past situation, a relationship in which you guys broke up or you went into separation for some reason. Now, remember, I did make a Freudian slip and say the Ten of Pentacles. What the reason why I said that was because I had just looked at the Ten of Swords and was about to speak to the Ace of Pentacles, but now underneath this six of cups here is some sort of oh wow is the ten of pentacles and also what wanted to be shown here is the ten of cups but in between the two of them is the nine of pentacles what i'm getting with this is that there is a deep history between you and this person you have a lot of history together you have um honestly the and y'all know I don't necessarily like to um, dive too much into the twin flame situation, but this really could be a twin flame thing. I feel like someone here is feeling like we've had lifetimes together. We are soulmates. We are twin flames. We are rooted in each other. We have a past. We have a history that transcends far beyond whatever it is we've experienced here in this physical lifetime in this physical incarnation and i feel like this person here who is in this chariot energy in reverse um is is kind of saying hold on like don't walk away from me like this or don't walk away from me just yet don't sever this connection just yet we have so much history between us we've built so much together we've gone through so much together as souls incarnating in in lifetimes how are we just going to throw it away like that? We can't just throw it away like that. Someone may be actually saying that to you. Um, someone may have actually said that to you, or maybe someone is about to say that to you. But the real anxiety here is around is surrounding wanting to reconcile page of cups, make some sort of offer of a new start, the ace of pentacles, but not being able to. Okay not being able to and I want to investigate why let's look at this so we're gonna look at the chariot in reverse why is the chariot in reverse in this connection in this situation ship in this romantic situation first card you have is the king of pet cups that's a good thing why is the chariot in reverse here then you have death okay Scorpio energy do you have two representations of Scorpio? You have the King of Cups and then you also have Death. Okay, um, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Why is the chariot reversed? The lovers. Okay. The lovers, the two of swords, and then finally overall energy clarifying the chariot here is the page of pentacles. <laughs> you were afraid of that, yeah. Um, so the chariot is in reverse here because somebody is in the process of transforming into a state of higher emo emotional awareness and are coming out of a level of denial. Like I said, the, the chariot in reverse coupled with the four of swords could represent a level of denial and even even if not even if that's just in this situation right here but that's what i've been uh, that's kind of something that i was picking up on and that's being confirmed in a little in a, in a uh, slightly at least king of cups death the lovers and the two of swords now also, what is happening here is while someone is absolutely in the process of leveling up emotionally, becoming more emotionally aware, becoming more emotionally responsible, I'm also feeling a level of becoming more emotionally aware of the self and the desires, the true desires of the self. Because it feels like either you or this person may be in the chariot in reverse all around in your life or in their lives. 
it may just be this may be an energy that is present and uh, relevant in their lives more than just in their relationship with you or more than in your relationship with them okay so it feels like there is a level of all around getting one's life together and again this could absolutely resonate for the twin flame journey because in order for the twins to come together there needs to be an alignment of the self with the self of the self with the soul of the self with the soul's mission so uh, yes the soul's mission which would ultimately bring you together with this twin flame energy if that is truly part of your destiny and that's part of what this feels like here and i'm getting that part of the message mostly from the lovers because there is a decision a choice that is needing to be made you have to in order to really truly whether you're on the twin flame journey or not in order to truly get into this king of cups place or this more emotionally mature stable grounded and available and aware place you actually have to choose to do so you have to choose to, to do the work you have to choose through to choose to go through the transformation you have to choose to release levels of denial that may be blocking you from this path or hindering your process process progress forward so regardless as to whether you whether or not you resonate with the twin flame journey or some sort of major um divine partnership situation here if you're going to be in this higher emotional state, higher emotional awareness, whatnot, whatever, then you have to choose to make that decision. And that does feel like what's happening here. And part of the reason why that feels like that is happening here, not only number one, because it is the choice for your highest good or their highest good overall, the lovers, but also number two, it feels like there also for some of you may be an awareness either on behalf of you or this other person that there is, there is a soulmate connection. You have a destiny with each other and so this person is choosing to step up level up and or align with this destiny that will ultimately bring you guys together okay okay so then let's look at why the four of swords oh wait hold on before we do that then finally confirming all of this we have the page of pentacles there is a desire for a brand new start but also i feel like Either you or this person are in a place right now where you are breaking ground on this new reality for yourself. This feels, this page of pent pentacles, while it does feel absolutely connected to this romantic situation, it also feels connected to the greater reality of you, of yours or this person's life. Hi, Jinx. What's the matter? What's the matter, Jinxie? Really? I gave you guys some food already. Well, maybe later then. Yes, Jinx is still here with me. Anyway, this page of pentacles feels like breaking new ground on a greater reality for the self. Okay. All right, let's look at the four of swords here. Why is the four of swords here in, the, in terms of this situation? Three of cups. King of wands. Knight of wands. <laughs> this is really interesting. And then we're back to the Nine of Swords. Okay. So overall energy is the Nine of Swords here. And like I said, when the Nine of Swords came out originally as the overall energy in this situation. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, Keely, that's pretty, that's pretty... That's pretty interesting. Um, let's continue with this reading. Maybe this will help you understand or define who these individuals are then for you. Uh, but so remember when I was saying in the beginning when the Nine of Swords came out as the overall energy in the beginning of the reading and the Nine of Swords was actually speaking more to a level of anxiety and or fear surrounding the reasons as to why someone can't make it this offer or come forward towards you or you go forward towards them. That's what, again what we're talking about here and that's further being clarified within the four of swords there is a level with this four of swords it feels like there's something about trying to figure something out and what that what you're what this person or you are trying to figure out here is how do we get along with each other the three of cups or how do you accept me back into your life and how do i accept you back into my life in a harmonious way 
How do we move forward with this? You have the Three of Cups, the King of Wands, and then the Knight of Wands. Someone is actively trying to plan or figure out how you guys can come back together in a harmonious, friendly, happy, joyous, celebratory way and not have it be a shit show. <laughs> okay, that kind of makes sense then. And part of the reason why this is actually such a big hurdle to overcome in this situation is because whomever it is that you are, you are dealing with, even though you have this history with each other, y'all are extremely independent individuals. There is a level of this independence here, this nine of pentacles energy being a topic of contention. And it may very well be that you have grown in your sense of independence from this individual, from this connection, from this energy in some pretty strong ways since you guys last interacted with each other. If this is in fact someone from your past. Otherwise, this is some, you, you are very independent generally overall. So it's gonna make it hard to approach you. In some ways, in some cases, many people would say at this point or under these circumstances, you are unapproachable. But there's something about this. Somebody here knows that that's not entirely true. There's just a specific way in which you would need to be or they would need to be approached in order for your meeting or for, in order for your reunion to be successful and to not go up in flames. But there is absolutely a level of passion here, King of Wands, and that is only adding to the energies that I'm feeling of someone trying to plan something or someone trying to figure something out, how to move forward, how to approach the situation, and or waiting for the appropriate timing the appropriate window of opportunity for that to happen. And thus, that takes us then to the temperance card. Okay. So let's clarify the temperance card. Because not only temperance would, not would only would, rep, would temperance represent, um, umi, 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 would, not only would it represent uh, patience and divine timing, but it also represents the process by which this situation is being worked out. The uh, circumstances by which this relationship or this union or this coming together can be possible. Okay, the alchemizational process of the energies. So what is temperance here? It didn't come out. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yikes. Holy shit, you guys. So, what I'm getting with temperance here is that this is actually absolutely a necessary part of your process. Um, this is absolutely a necessary pro part of the process of you guys coming together. There is a very real reason why you and this person are blocked from each other. There is a very real re reason why you cannot move forward towards this person and or they cannot move forward towards you. To be quite honest with you, there is, we'll say it this way, to even it out, to keep it balanced, there is a very real reason as to why you two cannot move forward towards each other or why you two cannot move forward together. Even if this does have to do with some sort of divine mission. And that is because deception, the seven of swords, has led to heartbreak or created heartbreak, three of swords. And there needs to be honor of one of someone's self-worth there and there also needs to be a level of reciprocity in this situation before you guys can move together move forward together or before you guys can come together queen of pentacles this absolutely could be a twin flame situation because the big reason as to why the divine feminine in many cases at this moment 
The big reason as to why the divine feminine is unapproachable, unreachable, unattainable by the divine masculine is because she is holding boundaries in regards to her self-worth. Throughout this process, at this point in the game, <clears throat> okay, because not everybody is at the same space or is at the same part of the journey. But at this point in the game, if this is, if this is resonating with you, then at some point, as the Divine Feminine, you went through a moment where you realized how you were being used, abused, and, and or taken advantage of, and or all of the above. And it was because of that that you, as the Divine Feminine, consciously chose to separate yourself from this situation, to stop pursuing that Divine Masculine of yours, to stop chasing after this situation, to stop feeding energy into it. Because you learned, you finally were able to assimilate and or integrate the lesson of self-worth that both masculine and feminine need to understand and learn. But the feminine gets there first. And so if this is resonating for you on a twin flame level, um, I do feel like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do feel like this is a twin flame reading. It, it feels like that kind of um, strongly spiritual, strongly self-mastery, self-development, aligning with self type of energy. Okay, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. But of course, you don't have to be on a twin flame journey to resonate with this theme or this to resonate with these topics or this message. Okay. Um, so with that said, because of that, I feel like right now, the divine masculine here or the masculine in this situation is blocked from moving forward the chariot in reverse until he or she it doesn't have to be a man could be a man or a woman it just it's we're talking energies here but until the divine masculine kind of becomes emotionally mature stable grounded sturdy aware and available enough to understand his own or her own self-worth and to to stand their ground in terms of that the way the divine feminine is so it seems that's where the divine masculine is right now no you're good that seems that's where the divine masculine energies or the masculine situation is right now may be very consciously aware at this point of the connection that they have with their divine feminine and may have this egoic desire i want to say to really move forward but the universe is blocking them until they can get the necessary they can get the necessary preparations in terms of their divine alignment self-worth the alignment of masculine and feminine within to the same level as the feminine or at least to an agreeable level level Okay. Now, remember, this was all we were we were um, clarifying the temperance card here. Overall energy is justice. Okay. So this is again, like I said, there is a very real reason why this is currently happening. The scales of karma are actually being balanced. And that's also where I'm hearing from which I'm hearing and getting the message of the masculine may actually be going through certain trials, tribulations, and or lessons right now associated with them. In some cases, the reason why they may be thinking of you or you may be on their mind is not, it is yes, because you have this connection with them, but also they are going through some circumstances and or situations that may be very closely tied to what it is you guys went through together. But whereas the feminine hit this, uh, this message or it hit this lesson first, now the masculine is kind of catching up to that at this point. Okay? Maybe going through very similar circumstances that he or she put you through when you guys were still associated with each other is what I want to say. Mm. Okay. Closing message. Closing message in terms of this collective reading here. First card you have is the Six of Swords. Okay, that could either mean moving forward from rough waters or calmer waters together. Obviously not physically together, but maybe emotionally, spiritually, mentally together, leaving the rough waters behind uh, and heading towards calmer waters. But also there's a little bit of a twinge of... Um, I 
Okay, I'm actually, I'm not gonna say that. Closing message here. Yeah, okay. All right, what you need to know about this, you guys, um, first, uh, first and foremost, yes, this absolutely could be a twin flame reading. Um, but this would really super, super resonate for you. I feel like it really is going to resonate with you the most or be a relevant message for you the most if you have been on this twin flame journey for some time and you've gone through the ringer with your twin flame, whether that be the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Um, and you guys have been like, you know, of each other, but you've been in separation for quite some time. And with that, I will say that, um, um, I do feel like there has been a resurgence of some of those energies lately. I mean, for those of you that don't know, I started my reading, my card reader career as a twin flame reader, um, because I found myself very much on that path. Um, I have since renounced my status as a twin flame reader because I needed to go through a time period where I did some massive healing. And throughout that time period, I couldn't really, I was not available to be a twin flame reader. I mean, I would say about a year or so. Um, the marker would be if you've been involved with each other for a while and you've gone through this runner chaser dynamic and since you've been through this runner chaser dynamic, you both or at least for the feminine will say, you've come to the point where you recognize this queen of pentacles energy and you consciously started pulling away because you needed to honor your self-worth. If you're at that point, then I feel like this is what's gonna most resonate for you most at this time because of this resurgence of those energies. All right. Um, and as a twin, I mean, like I, I started as a twin flame reader because I'm connected to that, that, that message. I'm connected to that path. Um, and I, and regardless as to whether I talk about it or not, I still, feel those energies. I just haven't been called to read for it until this moment. And when I was called to do this, spirit was real tricky with me. They didn't tell me what I was going in to tell you. They were just like, hey, let's do a reading on Instagram. And I was like, all right, cool. And now here I am. And they're like, haha, we're, we're going to do a twin. Oh, by the way, we're doing a twin flame reading. Well, here we are. <laughs> okay. Um, but there has, I'm saying all this to say there has been a resurgence of these energies lately. And I do feel like, and even in my own journey, I've been hearing and picking up on my own as a channeler, not necessarily by watching any other readers, um, which of which I don't really watch Twin Flame readers anymore. There was one person that I watched recently that I used to watch long ago and turns out that reading was relevant to my energies. But there has been a resurgence of these energies and the Divine Masculine has been thinking, out, thinking about and reaching out to the Divine Feminine lately but not from the same old place has been reaching out because they are going through certain levels of um, reciprocity. They're dealing with a lot of the situations that you dealt with as the feminine when y'all were still dealing with each other. Like what goes around comes around. Things are coming full circle and or things are happening that is kind of changing their view of you maybe, but maybe also changing their view of this path and actually their involvement on this path altogether. <laughs> yeah, I had been, I needed to handle some stuff, but I'm still here. All right. So I say all that to say, you guys, your closing message is the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Fool. So while this Six of Swords did kind of feel, give me a little bit of a twinge of, oh my God, I didn't say this, but there was a fear that this person, so-and-so is moving on without me. But I re Spirit was telling me not to say it in that way because it's not really a potential, okay? The Six of Swords is meant to, as your closing message here, is meant to represent y'all energetically in this connection, moving out of the rough waters of the past and moving forward towards calmer waters in the future and even in the now. Okay, even though you may not necessarily be, you may still be in a level of separation. All right, Six of Swords though, to the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. This feels like a direct message from the Divine Masculine saying, I want to move forward. I want to get out of these rough, choppy waters, murky waters, and I want to, I want clear blue sailing in front of us. I want to get to. Um, a higher awareness, a higher perspective. I want to move forward from the past. I want to move forward from the past, 
from the energy, from the anger, the, the cringeworthy energy. And I want, I want to start over. I want a new leap of faith. I want to start over. And what I want to say with that is, and the divine is saying this, the divine masculine is trying, is working towards getting there. Knows you are seriously advanced with him, seriously more advanced than him in this circumstance. Now keep it just to keep, keep put juxtaposition that against, and this is, it's so crazy because I was running around doing errands today and this, this, I, I was thinking about these energies. A lot of this stuff was coming back up for me and I was being, as I was driving around, I was in a very humble moment and I was in a very aware moment and I was allowing myself to be present and I wasn't, I wasn't allowing myself to put forward the same egoic resistances and blockages that I always would and I was allowing myself to sit with the energies I was allowing myself to accept the message that was coming to me and really feel through it instead of just egoically rejecting it but what came through in that moment was an understanding of how the masculine naturally has a greater mastery of the physical world whereas the feminine dominantly or most likely has a Ma a certain level of mastery over the spiritual realms or spiritual worlds, okay? And in that case, you guys mirror each other. Because what I was going through was, wow, he's so good. Like, he's got the physical world underneath his thumb. Like, he's, he's so good at manifesting within the physical. And I tend to have trouble with working with the physical reality, but when it comes to channeling the ethers and being in spirit and working with spirituality and all that kind of stuff, I got that shit down, like easy. Like it's not like easy. I don't even have to, I really don't even have to try. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. It's the facts. I play the feminine role in this situation. Okay. So I don't know why that was coming through. Oh, 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 oh. So what the masculine is working on right now is developing that spiritual prowess, developing that spiritual fitness, that spiritual strength. Whereas the feminine, especially in this Queen of Pentacles energy, is flexing her physical muscle, is working on developing her physical prowess, her physical strength, her physical abundance, her physical presence in life. And probably is very much uh, working on her own sense of her own form of physical independence and sovereignty. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles is also a very inde independent, physically independent person when she's upright. Okay, when she's balanced and healthy. Oh, look at that. Okay, Keely. See, I'm glad we were able to define that for you then. Oh, and then overall energy in this closing message is the Six of Cups. And this is taking me back to where the masculine was like... Um, where the masculine was like, um, well, we have so much history together. We're soulmates. I'm hearing we're meant for each other in this lifetime. Oh, hello, Christia. Christina. Hello, Christina. It's so good to see you. Welcome in. So there you go. The message is clear. And that was a message from the divine masculine or an update on the Divine Masculine, and I wasn't even intending to do that. But there we are. So, okay. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please keep in mind that I am available for a private reading. If you would like a private reading with me, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're, he if you're finding me here on Instagram, just shoot me a DM letting me know you're interested. Um, and if you're viewing this over on YouTube, or if you are on YouTube as well, Check out the description box of this video where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all set up. Yes? Anyway. Yeah, I understand that, Keely. But good. But hey, you got a little bit of clarity there, so excellent. All right, guys. The masculine is doing his work, guys. And to be honest with you, I feel like you can already feel this. Because within the Divine Feminine Collective, I do feel like for those of us that really truly resonate with the Divine Feminine Energy, I feel like lately we've gone through an intuitive boost. Um, our intuitions, I know mine has in some pretty interesting ways, but I feel like our intuitions lately have gotten a boost. And this, may, this does feel overall, but also this may have something to do with the eclipse that we're about to have. Um, but I feel like 
the message here is that the masculine is, is I mean, we've always been doing the work. The, 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 we've been doing the work this whole time, regardless as to what that actually looks like. But there's a level, there is an energy of getting serious about it right now. Exactly, the passing truck, Christina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, he's doing the heavy lifting right now. And I do feel like, if you're really resonating with this, I do feel like you have been picking up on that. You've been feeling it. Because also, you guys, it's been triggering things within you. As your twin goes through specific situations and goes through specific levels of healing, you will ultimately, on an energetic level, be triggered in a similar yet mirrored way. Okay? So keep that in mind. I feel like you guys know that already. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I love you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you'd like a personal reading with me, shoot me a message. Either DM me on Instagram or email me. My information can be found in the description box of, below of my videos here on YouTube. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube as well. And also, if you're here on Instagram, smash that like button for me. Give me a few harder, uh, harder two. And I hope you have a great day. I will see you guys soon. Yes? Bye. <laughs>